So I kind of been slacking, making videos and stuff like that. And you're probably looking at me and thinking, this nigga look high as hell. No, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired as hell. But I'm not going to let tiredness get in the way of a glorious ass video. <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> and I just won't. So let's do this. Let's do this shit. Yeah. I had to take a picture for my thumbnail. But we're going to talk about body game. And you're not needing to run away. You know, get a passport. You know what I'm saying? Spend $400. And then head over to, um, I don't know, Dominican Republic, Brazil, or any of these other countries. You know what I'm saying? Listening to these idiots on the internet telling you that, oh, American women this, American women that. No. You don't have to do all that. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have to do all that. So, earlier this year, well, last year, we're in a new year, you know what I'm saying? Last year, 2023, in April, I had got in my car and just effing and went to Georgia. Went to Atlanta, Georgia, man, and lived out there in my car, four months straight. And the woman out there the women out there, the women here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and New Orleans are fine, fine, gorgeous, hot, sexy, beautiful, all that. But the women out in Georgia, phew, double that and pass it on. You know what I'm saying? Double that and pass it on. I've had dates with women out there, and it was amazing. There's so many women out there. So many different kinds of women out there. There's different kinds of African women out there. I met a French Haitian woman out there, African, black. We just had like a small conversation and that was it. I met a Singalese woman out there. I met a Dominican Republican woman out there. I met a white chick out there. I've had dates with a few women out there. I banged a woman out there and I didn't. I wasn't even in shape. Right now, you looking at me? I weigh three hundred five pounds, three hundred five. I'm six foot three, weigh three hundred five. I'm working on that. When I was out there in Georgia, I weighed three hundred fifty pounds and felt like garbage, but I was still getting it. I was still getting it, and you know, I didn't have the masculine body that I know I could have. If I get in shape, I'll probably be bigger than a rock because I'm Samoan and African-American. Well, Samoan and African because American is a nationality. But if I were to get in shape, which I'm working on, I'll be bigger than a damn rock. I'll probably be bigger than damn Jason Momoa. You know what I'm saying? But guys want to run, run around and run away and move to all these, you know, all these different countries, not knowing that. A lot of these guys that's videotaping these hot women in, you know, Spain and Colombia, these Central American countries, these young guys don't know that these dudes are tricking. They're they're spending money on prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? They're probably working their shitty jobs, you know what I'm saying, at Walmart, racetrack, whatever corporate job that they got with a degree. And they're taking their 5000 or 10000 converting it to some cheap-ass dollars out there and paying for sex and making it seem like, you know, oh, we're just getting it in. You know what I'm saying? We're Americans. W women overseas love Americans. No. They're lying, facade, and faking, putting on, a, putting on a damn Shakespeare screenplay for your dumb ass. Or even worse, they're bragging about it. Passport bros really ruining the brand, really making African Americans look crazy. African, look, really making niggas look dumb. Now you're probably looking at me and like, what are you? But you can hear the voice. You can look in my damn face and tell I'm black, blickety black, you know. But you don't even have to do all that, man. See me, I'm moving to South Dakota in three months. We're in January. In April or later March, I'm moving to South Dakota for a fresh scene. And 
eventually I'm going to move over to Georgia and I'm going to live my life there for at least a few years or however long because I'm going to be pursuing acting and I'm going to get it in, you know. And you guys, man, you guys complain about women. You guys get angry and are, or upset when a woman doesn't, um, you know what I'm saying, Tell, doesn't give you the reaction you want. She denies you all these things. But really, it's your fault. You know, if you get the baseline down, you know, getting in shape, getting right. And this is just recycled information I'm giving y'all. But I'm giving it to you as a fat Negro. You know, a fat Negro. Yeah. Giving it to you as a fat dude who, who's been on the side of slim and getting it. But now is on the fat side. You know, let me tell y'all something. Like three or four weeks ago, this chick gave me her number. And we've been texting, but she texts me like three or four, every three or four hours, giving me the run around. You know what I'm saying? Saying, oh, let's go on a date at the at the end of the week. And she will cancel it. You know, she will cancel the date. Or she will say, she'll give some kind of excuse. And I remember she had told me that she had went to the Aldi's next to my job. She didn't even try to come into the store and see me. She didn't even try to talk to me and say, hey, I'm, I'm next to you, where you at? She didn't even try to do none of those things. And at first I was, I was upset. I was mad, I was pissed off. I was, I was disgusted because I was like, wow, I'm really able to make time for you, but you can't make time for me. But I accepted that this is what it is when you are just like every other guy. You're just nothing. Well, I ain't gonna say you're just nothing, but you are an inferior product in an overpopulated market. Yep, that's right. So, you know, we were supposed to go out on a date today and she's gonna tell me, oh, I'm tired, we have to reschedule. And I said, we can just do Sunday and I didn't get a response. And I'll probably get a response sometime tomorrow. And honestly, when she texts me, I'm not gonna even, I'm not even gonna text her. I want, I blocked her at first, but I said, mm, I'm not gonna block her. So I unblocked her. And when she texts me, I'm gonna read it. And then I'm going to delete it so I can forget. <laughs> and I'll probably text her, I don't know, five days and say, okay. And then that's it. And earlier today, I saw this woman with a dump, a dumpster booty, fat, big. And I asked for her number. And she said, I'll take your number. You know how that goes. So I take her number and then. You know, I'm walking over to work and I'm like, oh, damn, I gave her the wrong number. You know what I'm saying? And then I go inside and she's talking because I remember I talked to her. I was, ch I was chatting her up and stuff like that. And, you know, I had walked inside and I saw that she was, you know, talking to the lease manager. And I saw her talking and I had just walked to the bathroom and kind of gave her some time. And then I walked back and I was like, excuse me, I had gave you the wrong number. Let me give you the right one. And I do that, and she's like, she gave me an angry response. She gave me a passive aggressive response. It's like, hey, I'm in the middle of something. I'm um, trying to do this apartment stuff. And I'm writing my number down, and she has like this, you know, angry looking look. And in my head, I'm like, I don't care. You either gonna get this number or you not. And she didn't call me back, and she probably not gonna call me back. You know what I mean? And I got, I do, I say this to say that this, well, well, hold on, I fumbled it. I give you these stories of what happened to tell you this, you know, you guys can make all these hate videos saying you hate women, saying that, oh, life sucks and life is this and life is that. And you can go ahead and be fat and ugly and get a passport and go to all these different countries looking for love you ain't gonna find. And you're gonna fail. You're gonna fail. You're going to fail. You're gonna fail. So stop being lazy. Get in the damn gym. And 
be like Gohan in this bitch. All right. Gohan didn't try to compete with, with, with his dad, Goku, to be Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4 and all this lame shit. You know what I'm saying? He didn't try to break levels. No. This nigga went to King Kai and unlocked his full potential. He unlocked his base potential. Right? His base potential. He unlocked his base potential. Ultimate Gohan. You need to be Ultimate Gohan. Your ass need to get in that gym. And if you can't afford a gym, you need to do what David Goggins say. Get a damn floor. You got two arms, push up and down. You got two legs, squat up and down. You can get on your butt and lay down and do some damn sit-ups. You got legs that can move, go fucking run. So, you can have a fantastic life getting in shape. You know, I got a good friend of mine who I ain't going to mention his name, but he had a hard time last year dealing with women. This one chick that he really, really, really liked goes to him. And he was really upset about it. And I feel that because it's happened to me too. And he just couldn't catch a break with women. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't catch a break with women at all. MMA fighter. And a few months ago, November, he got into peak physical condition. Well, not even peak, but he's in, he's in great condition. And women are approaching him. Women are giving him this and that. He's like, I never thought this would ever happen. And he's doing well. So you dudes need to work out. You need to stop making excuses. You need to stop doing all this silly shit, man. You need to, you, I'm reading this book, 33 Strategies of War. I stopped reading it because right now I'm reading Robert Greene's Laws of Human Nature. But he said, you need to declare war on yourself. You need to declare war on anything that's going to bring you down or hold you back. I declare war on myself. He said, instead of aiming the arrows at different people, at different excuses, you need to aim, aim the arrows within. You need to aim the arrows at your insecurities, aim the arrows at the foods that are hurting you, the laziness, the sloth, all that. You need to aim the arrows at you, baby. You need to aim these arrows and fire. Fire. I declare war on fast food restaurants, on sodas, sweets. You know, right now, I haven't drank. I don't think I've drank a soda in like three days. I eat chocolate, but I don't eat chocolate excessively. You know, my face is getting a bit smoother. It's got some acne scars, but I got medicine to get rid of that. You know, I declare war. You know what I'm saying? I'm declaring war. I drink a lot. I'm drinking more water than I do um, sodas. I've been drinking juices, but I'm slowly getting rid of that. You got to declare war, man. If you declare war on yourself and keep waging these and keep raging and waging these battles, like Robert Greene said in 33 Strategies of War, you get better and better because you sharpen yourself. Do you want to be a fucking loser making YouTube videos talking about, oh, I hate women? Oh, no, you don't, bitch. So stop being a loser, right? And what, help, and what works, too, is the fact that I'm on a ground level with y'all. You see, guys like Noto and these different guys that make body game videos, they're like they're like officers. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they been that, done that. You know, they, they dealt with that. You know, they... They took the L's and they're the best right now. Best versions of themselves are closer to being the best. So they're pretty much in the office because they was on the field. You know what I'm saying? They were on the field. So they're in the office right now. They're like officers, like corporals, captains, generals, you know, leading the troops. I ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not obese. I used to be obese a few months ago when I was in Georgia. I'm just overweight right now. I'm like the sergeant, man, the master sergeant. I'm on a, I'm on the ground with you. You know what I'm saying? These guys like Noto, you know, they're giving you, they're giving, they're giving me, they're giving me the orders, and I'm leading the pl platoon on the field of battle. I'm right in the midst with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here in this game with y'all. 
and I'm willing to help y'all if y'all willing to help yourselves. They giving me orders and I'm on the field following these orders with you. So get it together, man. You don't got to retreat, man. Get it up.